How much would you attribute the increase in conspiratorial thinking to that red line? There has been an explosion of conspiracy theories flying fast and furious over the internet. Those conspiracy people, a lot of the conspiracy theories, of course not a lot of conspiracy theory, goes back to the Bush era. I'm Jesse Ventura, and this is Conspiracy Theory. Well, conspiracy mongering. Fringe conspiracy theorists. Conspiracy theorists. Conspiracy theorists. The people who foment conspiracy theories, crazy conspiracy theories, full-blown American conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories are a great American pastime. And not all of them are on the right. There's plenty on the left as well. Never told a soul about it. In fact, they engage in a vast conspiracy. Because you get accused of being a conspiracy theorist, speculation, conspiracy theories. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories. Painting this type of picture only feeds the delusions of those who wear tinfoil hats around their house. You know, there have always been crazy people who gravitate, if they have schizophrenia, who gravitate toward conspiracy theories. Those true believers in the mystic power of New Age crystals, spirit channeling, of people who talk to trees. Now, I don't consider myself a conspiracy buff at all, but when they get a lot of coincidences, I get a little suspicious. How does this term conspiracy theory get used, and what are what are the purposes that it's used for? It, conspiracy theory is a little bit like the word uh, propaganda, and it's used specifically to discredit someone and to say, in effect, you're nuts. You're making it up, or you don't know the you know you don't have knowledge about this, or that you're irrational. That's that's the description of a conspiracy theory. So. That is a very effective way uh, and frequently used in the mass media and by media commentators and reporters uh, as a means of discrediting points of view that they, they don't agree with. Conspiracy theory is a term that's used whenever anybody ascribes conscious intent to people with power. So I can say to you that school teachers are concerned about their salaries and they're organizing and they're threatening a strike and they're pressuring. I can say to you that farmers are doing this and looking for subsidies and, and, and facing certain policies. But the minute I say to you that the very people at the top, the plutocracy, the very rich and powerful, the ones who own most of America, that they are consciously pursuing power and wealth, someone will come along and say, what do you have, a conspiracy theory? Or they'll say, oh, you're cynical or you're paranoid. Their view is that stuff just happens. Things just happen, unintended consequences, or our leaders are stupid and they're jerks or they're confused and they don't know any better. And of course, the critic knows much better than everybody else. People who operate in this world operate with intent. There's no such thing as imperialism without imperialists. There's no such thing as capitalism without capitalists. There's no such thing as rulers who are somnambulists who walk around in their sleep. You watch out for your interests. You watch out and you make calculations. What makes you think that David Rockefeller doesn't? What makes you think that the, the people at the top don't do it? And what makes you think they don't collude and organize? Or what do you think you have a group of people who sit around in a room and they plan this and I always say oh no God they don't sit around in a room they meet on carousels and they go up and down and merry-go-rounds or they meet skydiving and they hold hands and they argue of course they sit in rooms where the hell else are they going to meet popular usage of the term conspiracy theory does not appear to closely correlate with evidence in support of a particular assertion. British Prime Minister Tony Blair dismissed the idea that the invasion of Iraq may have been motivated by oil as an absurd conspiracy theory. In fact, the most absurd conspiracy theories are often promoted by the most powerful individuals in society, including Tony Blair himself. His claim that Iraq had retained massive amounts of chemical and biological weapons and was plotting with Al-Qaeda to attack the West had zero evidentiary support. The Third Reich promoted the conspiracy theory that Jews were responsible for most of the world's ills.
During the Cold War, American policy planners claimed that the Kremlin was engaged in a worldwide communist conspiracy, even while their own intelligence reports suggested the opposite. More recently, Muslims have become the primary scapegoat. In 2008, the John McCain presidential campaign mailed out 28 million copies of the pseudo-documentary Obsession, a hate film suggesting that Muslims are engaged in a massive conspiracy to create a worldwide Islamic dictatorship. On the populist right, macro-conspiracy theories are often used to deflect attention from class analysis while encouraging scapegoats. Now, what's a conspiracy, and what um, to what is everything that somebody says happened? Does that mean that that's actually happened? Some of the stuff that people believe about uh, the CIA or the national security state or Jews or black people or Wall Street or you know you name it, liberal media, right wing media. Some of the things that people believe about all of those controversial things are not true. And so we get into a situation in which the accusation that a conspiracy exists or that there's a plan afoot to do something becomes a powerful political tool. One of the most powerful tools of propaganda is rumors rumor mongering and uh, it, it one can see it even in elections you can see it in international affairs and so forth it, rumors appeal to people's primal fears fears about race fears about gender fears about their own relationship b between themselves and, and authority those sorts of things and there are plenty of people out there who will exploit those fears and it's quite difficult for ordinary people who are living their lives to card out well, what is just nonsense from what is incredible yet real. There's no simple solution to this problem. Present day media tends to encourage people to believe in nonsense by giving credibility to it on the one hand and on the other hand, oftentimes, not always, uh, denying the reality of evidence that is substantial. I think that the way to get at this in, in a social sense is to keep an open mind, investigate carefully, and not to believe in stuff that you don't understand. We as scholars, or teachers, media people, just as ordinary citizens, should not propagate stuff that they don't understand or that they don't have factual support for. You know, the term conspiracy theory is a very interesting one. Uh, it is, of course, applied to almost anything that's perceived as threatening, any kind of broader attempt to explain, explain specific events. There certainly are people and elements out there that create these explanations for everything, and those are potentially dangerous because they do lead to scapegoating. Uh, on the other hand, there are actual people, actual covert operations, actual things happening that we don't know about, and it's very, very important to understand them. I mean, they are fundamentally conspiracies, which it simply means uh, 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 several people colluding in a secret and uh, illegal operation. Conspiracies are prosecuted every day in the courtrooms of this country, uh, and theory is what we use to try to understand things. So uh, I find the term conspiracy theory a broad brush pejorative, which I think is designed to suppress discussion. I do think we need to distinguish between those who see a bogeyman everywhere and those who do careful research and come to the conclusion in particular cases that there was some sort of an organized effort to do something, perhaps to remove a president uh, or to achieve some other change uh, of which the public uh, was never informed. If you're going to look and say, it, you know, it's, it's structures and systems that run the world, 
you'll have to realize that there are trap doors in these uh, structures and systems and that not all of the structure, not all of the system is visible in the public record. And that's where we come back to what I say about deep politics and a deep state. We have to acknowledge that there are processes going on that are not finding their way straight away into newspapers and history books. And it's so interesting that America can see that about other countries, uh, just has problems seeing it about itself. Only feeds the delusions of those who wear tinfoil hats around their house. You know, there have always been crazy people who gravitate, if they have schizophrenia, who gravitate toward conspiracy theories. Those true believers in the mystic power of New Age crystals spirit channeling of people who talk to trees. Now, I don't consider myself a conspiracy buff at all, but when they get a lot of coincidences, I get a little suspicious. And how does this? The people who foment conspiracy theories, crazy conspiracy theories, full-blown American conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories are a great American pastime. And not all of them are on the right. There's plenty on the left as well. Never told a soul about it. In fact, they engage in a vast conspiracy. Because you get accused of being a conspiracy theorist, the speculation, conspiracy theories. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories. Painting this type of picture. How much would you attribute the increase in conspiratorial thinking to that red line? There has been an explosion of conspiracy theories flying fast and furious over the internet. Those conspiracy people, a lot of the conspiracy theories, of course not a lot of conspiracy theory, goes back to the Bush era. I'm Jesse Ventura, and this is Conspiracy Theory. Well, conspiracy mongering. Fringe conspiracy theorists. Conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory. Does this term conspiracy theory get used, and what are, what are the purposes that it's used for? A conspiracy theory is a little bit like the word uh, propaganda, and it's used specifically to discredit someone and to say, in effect, you're nuts. You're making it up, or you don't know the, you know, you don't have knowledge about this, or that you're irrational. That's that's the description of a conspiracy theory. So, that is a very effective way, uh, and frequently used in the mass media and by media commentators and reporters uh, as a means of discrediting points of view that they, they don't agree with. Conspiracy theory is a term that's used whenever 